All right. I forgot which night we were on. But yeah, we were sitting right in front of Freya. Let's do a quick recap. Let's see. Well, this is new. What I'm doing with my life. Oh, all favorite things. Coffee, coffee, coffee. In case you didn't get it the first time, I'm a big fan of Naiman Orokami. So there's that. Okay. Hmm. Working as a journalist because it's the best way to learn how to write better. Talk to people who have experienced more than you and get paid for learning things. Oh, wow. Actually, that's, uh, that's something I'd never thought about. Oh, okay, so Lua and my, our relationship has gotten better. Lover is a bright moonlight, better in a life without fight. I'm a big fan of art and poetry. Okay. Working nine to five in a trading company by day, going to poetry readings and museums on the weekends, enraptured by the forbidden fruit. I guess this is French. Some sexy French. I'm not going to even do my French impersonation. <laughs> Hyde, the supermodel. The vampire. Hyde is a vampire. So there's that. A vegan vampire on top of that. Professional model. Um, the getting paid part is questionable. <laughs> part of Lost... Angel's agency, old enough yet still seeking the truth and purpose of life. We are just co close friends. Myrtle, who's been in our uh, coffee shop a couple of times, is a game developer uh, working on Full Metal Conflict series. Okay. So yeah, Myrtle is an orc. Aqua is... Uh, I forgot what her species is called. <laughs> How far are you into this? Hey, duo. Um, this is. Uh, I feel like I'm halfway. I feel like I'm halfway into it. Maybe under half, maybe about 45%. So if I'm not half, I'm like 40 to 45. Because when I hit load, it showed like the bar, you know, um, and it wasn't. I don't think it was halfway full. So, um, you don't remember how far you got into it? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, I have, I don't think there's a VOD of it because uh, I had to take it down, but it's on YouTube and there's the second. So my first night is split into two episodes when I streamed it. Um, so episode one is on YouTube right now. Uh, exclamation YouTube. And then the second episode is going up tomorrow. And then this will go up later this probably the day after or something, you know, because I'm going to try to stay on top of it. <laughs> and I am still thank you. Thank you, Heroic, for linking that in. I am still uploading Baldur's Gate footage from back in 2019. Is it 19? Yeah, <laughs> I still I still have so much. But I'm mostly doing it just to memorialize the whole we played it. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's Aqua. <laughs> yeah, we, we have new channel point rewards and I, I, I have to fine tune them. So I might need to make them cheaper for y'all to actually use them because we need to tune the volume, things like that until we get it perfect. But then again, sometimes I play games where I I, I take the volume down a notch like magic. Uh, so I think when I do that, it actually hurts the volume of the sound clips. I don't know. So Planescape is coming, Heroic. It is coming. It is coming. It is not off the board. It is not forgotten, but um, it's coming. It's coming. Magic, what's that? <laughs> yeah, I just did a draft earlier, so it wasn't bad. 
I like I like Nuka Pinna compared to what everyone else is saying about it. Apparently, not a lot of people like it. Anyway, let's talk to Freya. Well, oh wait, what did we learn? We learned Masala Chai. Okay. And I I should have wrote it down. I learned the recipe by accident on the other night uh, when we were playing this for Gala. Gala? Gala? Yeah, Gala, Gala. Uh, for his, because he's a werewolf and um, we learned the right coffee, the right drink to make him to settle his fury down. So um, hopefully we get to have him come back and visit our coffee shop again and we'll be able to give that to him. And hopefully I'll be able to make it again if possible. Where is my coffee? I guess it'll come up whenever I actually make something. But anyway, let's talk to Freya. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order it again once I finish reading this. I would tell you if you hadn't forgotten after at least a year of not playing this. <laughs> I know it was T... I think it's T... Honey and uh, the ginger, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to figure it out again, but yeah, it was it's close. Okay then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Hmm. Oh man. Freya doesn't seem to be having a good night, but Aqua's here. Oh, Aqua, fancy seeing you again so soon. Hey, Freya. Hi, Tratus. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good, how about you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Oops. <laughs> I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? Not yet. So far, it's only me and Tratus. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. <laughs> you have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order her some. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right, I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. Tea, lemon, and cinnamon. Brew it up! Russian tea. Serve it. Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that is Russian is the name. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. <laughs> Whoa, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spend too much time browsing the internet. When did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. Look, look, look. <laughs> Finish drinking first, Aqua. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, you haven't left? I was just joking. 
Oh. That would be crazy. Why? Oh no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Traders. Hey, I, I just took a break. I just took a break. I got my coffee here with me. Let's take another sip. Please make sure you get enough rest. Would you like a virtual slice of pie with that? <laughs> I don't think I have any pie, but yeah, I would like so. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? Hmm. No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh. May I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a U.S. visa? I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have any siblings? Of course. We are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa! I'm sick again, waiting for the painkillers to kick in and nuke the fever. Oh man, I hope you feel better. Whoa! You're on the ginger tea, sore throat? There you go. Well, this coffee shop does have ginger tea. <laughs> Apparently I make it here. <laughs> That's a lot! You really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. You made fresh ginger, lemon, and honey tea? Ooh. Apparently the game says that is bitter, but good. Holy. How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have. Not as many as you, I assume. <laughs> I have a little brother, four years younger. He also lives in Seattle. No, he's living in San Francisco, near our parents' house. He's a good kid and I'm the rebel, working some high-end tech job, while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. Replace the honey with some kind of cactus syrup and that's exactly what I'm having. <laughs> okay. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. Oh, she's getting determined. I know. Anyway, I want to order something. Another espresso? You know, the usual. Yep, coffee, coffee, and coffee. She wants her espresso. Your espresso's ready. Thanks. Bitter. Just the way I love it. <laughs> Please be Gala. Now, who are you? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hmm. How can I help you, sir? Ah, yes. 
Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. 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 Nothing you like on the menu? I can make a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, lucky me. It stands for Susu Teller Madajahi. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. I can only do three. Oh, but I don't have eggs, so... Understood. What? Do you have the eggs? <laughs> I certainly have. I do! They're not on the shelf. But I'll add egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that. One cup of STMJ, please. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's uh, milk, honey, and ginger, right? Okay, then we add the egg. So milk, honey, what is that? Mint? I, I didn't know I had mint until now, so ginger. We brew it. STMJ. So I must have just added it. Let's see. Hmm. You almost got it. Yeah, where's the egg tray? I'm sorry. Care to point out the mistakes? I guess it's the honey. You should have put the ginger in after the milk. Oh, now we're getting technical, huh? <laughs> I mean, he's not right. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Noted. Don't worry about it, though. They've traveled to so many places in the States, and none of them got the STMJ right. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? <laughs> she. <laughs> sure, ask away. <laughs> what kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Oh boy. Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. <laughs> Let me just scoot a little closer. Uh, 
May I ask how old you are? Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, Traitus. I just... It was this pervy old man. I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. <laughs> Look at Aqua! <laughs> you told me. I know. I want to be able to understand young people. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. <laughs> Freya. <laughs> What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man is Rachel's dad, Freya. Oh. He asked to meet me. So I told him to come here. Okay, okay, okay. Not a creepy old man. Oh. I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. <laughs> no wonder she ran away from home. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone, please mis meet Mr. Furlong. Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Tratus. Please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel uh, for Florenzia's father? Like any smart serial killer would cover story. Oh my gosh. Yes. Furlong? Florenzia. Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Valencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. You, Freya, I'll come with you. Anyway, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Hmm. It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home, was she hanging out with shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. <laughs> He's talking about Freya. <laughs> hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Tratus here. Oh yeah, they're smoking aloud in this coffee joint. Uh, I've noticed that. I thought that too, Shock, when it, when it came out. I was like, it's interesting. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? Hmm. It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we ended up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space, but be there when they need you. Or you could just bribe them. <laughs> One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a steakout. Once she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if... What she loves doing is a problem. Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't a kind of place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. 
Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe? Sorry, I was laughing at the comment made. <laughs> Tratus, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Yeah, don't mind me just eavesdropping on everyone's conversation. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts with without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit. But every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing more... Nothing much we can do, other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to do... to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully, they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I could do a background check on that manager. <laughs> if that will ease your mind. Please do. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Hey, Plush. I am going for the coffee dimension. <laughs> I'm loving this game. And I got my own cup of coffee here. Probably get another drink. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Morris Lester. Got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Bad customers get put in the bean grinder? <laughs> anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Oh, is that a hit? Hold on, I gotta take this. Oh, is it gonna be his daughter's now? I just got a call, I've gotta go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Lester Hannibal Lester! Wait, wait! You have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singing career. It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it was, or has, I, I don't think it's for the better. Freya's back. She survived being an idol. Even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There's a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from her achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best though? I think she's born to soar. But... But she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously. That's your argument? I didn't mean it to sound that way. <laughs> Freya only pulls out the wisdom when nobody's looking. <laughs> I, I like how this game is made. I really do. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. 
You'll drive her away if you keep on acting like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game is very well written. Sorry, I was... And the music, I freaking love it. You're right. You're right. It is so good. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl, too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teen. I... I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Tratus? Take all the time you need. All right, we're going into the next night. <laughs> Failing at writing enough. <laughs> Monday, September 28th. You don't know if using yourself as the example is best here? Yeah. Mm. Werewolf representative, representatives pushed the ministry for more accessible sed sedative for their fury. Kathy talk. <laughs> Hey, Tater, what's going on? Doctor from Salak Town arrested for experimenting with child clothing and military personnel stationed along East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. <laughs> Are you sure that would be okay? What are we talking about? Yes! I mean... It would be really hard to pull off. What? But it's something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. Hold on. Let's go to our fake Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. So Aqua. So she's a mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert, tea lover. Uh, sh let's see. Games and video games and g so our favorite things is grandma. <laughs> what I'm doing with my life. Moved to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find the place and person where I belong while doing something I love. All right. And then Hendry. Nice. All right. Yeah, Rachel, she's the one that they were talking about. Uh, that's Hendry is her dad. All right. Sure is a dad. <laughs> so different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully. We must be talking about our novel and gracefully. I know. Let's back. Our werewolf. Man's got life goals for days. <laughs> hey, now I'll be able to try to make his drink because we learned it by accident. So that we'll be able to do. Speak of the devil. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? Mm -mm. It looked like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Tradus was just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? It's a hipster Wolverine? <laughs> he just slid into our DMs. <laughs> what are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although I need to interrupt Tradus for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Hmm. You remember my re remedy? Of course. You want to give it a try again? My last order didn't quite hit the spot. Remember, it's tea and ginger. The last thing is differently a different ingredient from either of those. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. Yeah, I remember that. So he gave us two. 
And I'm pretty sure it was the honey that we need. Pretty sure. It should say Gala something. Crap, it's not that. Was it cinnamon? Yeah, the gala had. Um, I, 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 I accidentally made it, and I'm trying to remember it. I may have to. I may have to look it up. I, m I might just cheat here because I accidentally made it, and it said gala had on it, and I'm like, oh, that's the drink, you know. And I, so it's tea and ginger. I thought it was with honey though. Maybe it's with cinnamon. Or maybe the honey's in the middle? You think it was cinnamon? Okay, we're gonna look it up. We, we accidentally made it one night. And that's why I knew it was called uh, Gala Had. Okay, it is... A ginger chai latte. Yes, when we were trying to make masala chai, we figured it out, and I was like, there it is! Uh, it's tea, milk, ginger. There we go. Tea, milk, ginger. You don't need to Google? <laughs> oh, I do? Are you sure? I, I, think, I think we have to learn. We, we actually have to serve it. Yeah, I, it didn't save. You were almost right. <laughs> Yeah, we, we made it, but I had to trash it because I was doing masala tea for um, masala chai. I can't remember who who that was for, but uh, it didn't it didn't save it because I didn't serve it. Yeah. Uh, reset. So tea, milk, ginger. Ah, I got you. There we go. Yeah, I remember it kind of looked like that. With the little like werewolf kind of thingy there, like half, half, whatever. Serve it. Judging from the smell, this looks like it. Indeed. I have the same feeling. I've made a note of that mixture. Now it's in our phone. Now it's in our phone. Perfect. Anyway, please don't mind me and continue with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gala. We're done for the night. Update in my journal. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about play, Planescape, Tater. I'm going to be playing. I, I promised Heroic that I'd be back on it in two weeks. So I hate how media makes coffee seem so classy and relaxing and nice because it makes me want to like it. I just like it because I like it. I, I just ignore all the media, right? So. I've been a coffee drinker since I got I got out of diapers. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. <laughs> yeah, my parents. Maybe it was questionable to give me coffee that young of age, but I loved it. I mean, you, if you already like it, that's good for you. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You're right. It's the marketing. They, they always try to mark. You know, marketing is everything and everywhere, right? Yeah. I haven't had coffee that good since kindergarten. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're right. <sighs> Gosh. 
You know, I, I, I like my coffee like I like my wife. Actually, that's a bad thing to say. Like, I love my coffee like I love my wife. Tan and sweet. <laughs> Cradling off indefinitely. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Gala. We're done for the night. You're done. I have a lot of new homework, thanks to you. You like my coffee like I like my life. I don't. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Plush. I mean, what? <laughs> like probably don't say anything else <laughs> it's like I'm sorry <laughs> I have a lot of new <laughs> yeah you don't sound better <laughs> uh, you're welcome is Hyde coming no I'm by myself tonight so no vampire tonight it's gonna be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Oh, come on, I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He might not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. You know what they say a spoonful of sugar helps the existential crisis go down. Oof. That applies to you as well. Ah, oh, come on. Who do we got? Hey, Bailey's is here. Good evening, everyone. Anyways, looking back, looping back into the important topic, that explains... <laughs> Son. Gala being a dreamboat. Yeah, he's he's got it going. It's that, that, that rough look. That werewolf appeal. <laughs> You're fine, Plush. I like my coffee like I like this game with the little Baileys mixed in. Yeah. So I wonder if we're going to see Lua tonight because Baileys is here. <laughs> You're not wrong, Plush. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Baileys. Hey, uh. <laughs> Son, how are you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Tradus was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. <laughs> it's cruel. It's necessary. Sounds interesting. Hmm. <laughs> What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose-your-own-adventure storybook, but for adults. Sounds pretty common so far, but instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. What? That score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. <laughs> I know it's not that original, but my target here is the mainstream audience. Huh. With the help of my publisher, this kind of book may go mainstream. Just like that Choose Your Own Adventure show on Netstream. It was nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached a mainstream market. That sounds interesting and highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea, which is making the novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of story cards. Well, I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world, and that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? Freya, why can't you just make your book. <laughs> no, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I'm finished, right? Okay? Alright, alright. 
As Trader said, though, I won't have the time. Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. I do. I do. It is... Uh... Wait. Ginger latte. Pretty sure I've made ginger latte before. It's gonna be... Milk and ginger, right? We're going to be doing a little bit experimenting. Hmm. It's definitely not a tea drink. You're right. Last time he was in here, he wanted green tea. Do we want to put green tea in it? Or is it just milk and ginger? Milk, milk, ginger, maybe? Nah. You're right. It's coffee. Try that. Hmm. It's going to taste horrific. Milk ginger coffee. That's not a latte. Well, it is a latte. Take that back. Maybe the... I would trash it. It's not made with coffee. Yeah, I was thinking it's gonna be two milks and uh, ginger. That's what I was thinking. My that was my first guess. The green tea latte was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cause that's what he had when he first came. He had a green tea latte. So I think it's just gonna be ginger. No, it's going to be milk, milk, ginger, maybe? Or is it milk, ginger, milk? Eh, whatever. I'm thinking milk, milk, ginger. It's not a latte. Didn't come up as a latte. All right. That's just ginger milk. <laughs> Damn it, Baileys! <laughs> okay. Is it milk ginger milk? <laughs> you try milk ginger milk? If I don't get it on this one, I'm going to look it up. Ah! Ah! 
<laughs> well then. <laughs> Okay, maybe it does have a base. Maybe it is green tea. No, no. What if it's a third ingredient we're not thinking of? Yeah, I, I, I did the coffee ginger, uh, coffee. I think I did coffee, milk, ginger, and it came out ginger, coffee, milk, something like that. All right. Ginger, I know I've made a ginger latte before, but it won't save the crap. It's, it was when I was experimenting with... Uh, it was when I was experimenting with the Gala Had. What's the Gala Had? Tea milk. Do we think it's tea, ginger, milk? Try coffee, ginger, milk. Okay, we got one more. Yeah, I think I did coffee, milk, ginger before. Does it tell me what I did? No. I wish I... That sounds like cough medicine. Oh, I, I have the cough medicine in here. Um, cough syrup, green tea, lemon, honey. Yeah. Um. Ginger, okay. Am I gonna cheat? <laughs> I got one more try. Yeah, because I think we did coffee, milk, ginger. Man, that is just bitter. Ah! Thank you! <laughs> We had it wrong. We did coffee, milk, ginger last time. And it came out coffee, milk, or milk, coffee, ginger. <laughs> and we didn't have to cheat. Thank you. <laughs> Tater. <laughs> yeah, we, we got it. We got it. Yeah, I'm just glad I didn't have to cheat. But we got it, we got it. It's only a great effort when it's success. When it's success. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, did I say it wrong? Otherwise, it's all you. <laughs> oh, I probably just said, oh, I got it. I was just so glad it came up. But yeah, no, trash it. <laughs> Oh, we're serving it. <laughs> oh my gosh, how are you doing, Lucky? Nah, you said we had it in the wrong way around. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean y'all. I just meant all of us. <laughs> Which is the same thing, I get it. <laughs> Sorry. Having too much fun with it. Here you go. Thanks. Now I know that order of ingredients matters. Yeah, I didn't really get that it mattered, but yeah. Just us as a species. <laughs> pitched and pitched a nerve in my neck. Uh, everything needs to be trash. Oh, pitched a <laughs> everything needs to be trash. Had it wrong. Scoot over and getting in that trash can too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Bailey's. Damn, this is good. That's right. But this kind of drink making skill, I wonder why your place isn't any bigger. You know, I, I wonder that too. What we have here now is more than enough for me. 
Yeah, I've already trashed, uh, like filled up, you know, four fifths of my trash can. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. By the way, how are you doing, Bailey's? Still busy with your last client? I want to see their perspective. You just making and throwing away four cups of coffee. <laughs> oh, I'm done with her. Done? As in you're dropping the project? Hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. And I'm also and I'm also I'm fully imagining you throwing away the whole cup. Yeah, I, I don't know what we're doing. I, it doesn't show us do dishes. So me, you know, since there's werewolves and vampires and all these other species here. Maybe our trash can is magic. That's, yeah, that's why you got limited attempts. <laughs> Running out of cups. <laughs> you know, what? You're, you're probably right, because we only get a handful of people in our coffee shop. Yep. Done as I've finished the job. I spent the past few days making sure it's not even done before the deadline. <laughs> Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her by using some design terms she doesn't understand. So you finish your job by bullshitting her. <laughs> <laughs> the finest bullshit, my lady. That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. <laughs> Prune machine goes to. That's a problem for the inventory manager. Oh, my God. Are you working on anything right now? No. I'm taking a break from work. I need to work on a few personal matters. Like increasing his bullshitting skill. Oh. Ah, yeah, Lua. Like you and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, I think they've been together for like 10 years. Your opinion goes in there too? <laughs> Finest bullshit. That's my bean of choice. I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know? Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. So, I was a bit of a player back in college. <laughs> I mean, weren't we all? Just saying. You know. <laughs> oh, spicy. And I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Cousin something of another. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, this place is open at night and it has coffee, so... Let's call him Cognac. Cognac has a girlfriend. Me and the boys at 2 a.m. looking for beans. <laughs> Brew or smash. <laughs> Still following. And that girl has a friend. The friend is the one I'm after. Oh, OK. Got it. She was one of the hottest girls there. But everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. Why? It's... I don't want to get into details. Trash, smash or trash? Trash or smash? Trash or smash? <laughs> but the succubus was super hot. And all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player, too. I mean, what succubus isn't? Let's just be honest. <laughs> Gala, smash? Stash or clash? <laughs> huh? That doesn't sound like Lua at all. Because it wasn't Lua, genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Holy moly. This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was... Let's just call her Rose. Continue. I mean, succubus. I knew Lua think thanks to her relationship with Cognac. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes. Now, will you let me continue without interruptions? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua 
a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much. But I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Cognac back in college. I'd been out and I got back just as Lua arrived. A total coincidence. Just like every porno is made up of. Freya making sure if she can just wholesome steal the story or she has to change the proper nouns. We went to our we went into our place together and witnessed something surprising. What? Cognat was sleeping with Rose. Ooh. Holy mother of moly! <laughs> I saw the look on Lua's face. The disbelief, anger, sadness. And without even thinking about it, I punched Cognat in the face. You what? I got into a fight with them. Oh, I haven't told you. Cognat was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for kids. He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch and he beat me to a pulp. Easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. More like she begged Cognac. Yeah, I, hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I didn't give up so easily. I was beaten pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. Mm. Kicked you apart? Yeah. <laughs> we grew closer after that. And I don't even remember the exact date. But suddenly, that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. I know. Have you seen her by any chance? Lua came by a few days ago. How was she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. With whom? There was this male model. A model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Bailey's really walking in the rain with a wood scar wool scar. That can't be comfy. Well, you know. Could be magic. <laughs> oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? Well, we were talking about your relationship. Lua told us about the reason behind the fight, about your family stuff, and then this guy Hyde joined the discussion. What did he say? He didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval. Considering, you know, a wet towel, yeah. Box in and just drains the scarf into the trash can. <laughs> what? You're willing to leave your own family. You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Let me tell you about my family. Or, I should say, most elven families. They all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there's a certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. So that that's why he's, he's got to wear the scarf. Drains trash can into trash can. We must never, ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. Bingo! <laughs> you can only have certain jobs jobs that are deemed worthy and successful, like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. And Wolverine is just sitting there listening to the whole trashy story. He only looks over when they start talking about Hyde. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something else would deem suitable unless you become the next Da Vinci. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy, seemed like they were on fire. He's a good listener, yeah. They told me that I'd never be rich or successful. 
He looks like a good listener, even for the werewolf. And that drink we may given him, or uh, gave him, uh, must have subdued the fury. It told me I'd never be rich or successful. All that because you chose an art degree. You want to know the worst part? They blame Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. Yelled about how her kind is ruining the country. Accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Whoa. I mean, come on, this is the 21st century, right? That's so not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental, but your family is racist. Tell me about it. Lula is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lula is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for the both of us. What about her? Oh, Gala's coming in. What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family. However, it may not be the same for her. Bingo! Your family is a person writing a book where the only one race reigns supreme. But she hits the nail on the head, right? Showing how our world is... It, it, I, I, li I like how this game is made, right? Because it, it shows racism between actual different species. But when she pitched her idea, like, what if I make a, a story about a world where they're just human and the only thing they can be racist about is that they nitpick each other on the color of their skin or the way they talk or, you know, this, that. I thought it was pretty, I was like, I was like, wow. Gala about to flex his chatness all over these two. Excuse me, sir. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> That almost made me spit out my coffee. Yeah, no, I'm totally on board, but I'm also like making fun. Oh yeah, no, you're you're fine. I, I I only brought that up because we had some new people join that weren't here for the the first time. So you're fine, plush. You're absolutely fine. And I got you. <laughs> I Gila, do you have something to say? <laughs> Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I mean, <laughs> he's sitting right next to you. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assume that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yeah, she's a succubus. I see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack. But we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? I never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. Man, that is just... And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel about, bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. We stand gala in this, in this house. Sushi specials, tuna, yellowtail. <laughs> one day, one of you might regret your decisions. One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. Oh, you don't want to ever do that, mermaid. Total yellowtail. 
We love each other. I'll be with her, whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work. This is this is some true. Y'all better be just because it's in a video game. This is true life shit. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> this is real stuff. You, you can't you can't. Uh, let, let me put it to you this way. When you're dating and you're getting to know your significant other. Yeah, he's a total Chad. Duck and cover, truth bombs incoming. <laughs> and yeah, trade is going on a tangent again. When you're dating someone, it's like you're getting to know them. And let's say, let's say you actually do get married. Well, congratulations. You just got your high school diploma. Okay. You, you figured it out. You're together. You got a high school diploma, but it doesn't stop there. Now you got to go to college. Okay. And then you got to keep working on it. All right. You got to keep improving. Keep, keep uh, working, getting to know your significant other. It just, you, you don't, you don't stop, you know, arguments and everything roughs, roughs it out and makes you perfect. And you keep that understanding going and you learn and you get better at it. Then you got your minor, then you got your major, and then you got your degree, and then you go in for the doctorate, you know? And <laughs> yeah, it's it's not the end goal, it's the start. There you go. My ex and I thought we'd be together forever, felt as natural as breathing. Yeah, it's, it's hard work. It's hard work. You, you gotta keep, you gotta put, you gotta keep putting it into it. You can't just graduate and stop, you know? I, I, to this day, I still try to impress my wife with things, you know. I still, I still put in the work every day. That's love, that's love. <laughs> because life, life is full of storms. And marriage, it will not survive on love alone. Whoa, that's deep. Man, Gala is just... We'll have each other and that's enough for us. Tell me, do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf, why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? Immortality is an elven privilege, but you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured. Emptied their entire life savings for an $8 pill because in this country they charge 20000 for it. Yeah. <sighs> that's. I know that's political right there. We're not even going to get into that. But yeah, that stuff happens. I completely overmarried. I'm a blessed man. <laughs> hey, I'm a blessed man because my wife puts up with me. <laughs> In the end, you're together with, for, with someone because they put up with the bad, but they love the good. There you go. But if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privilege as you do. There's a high probability they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've got to go. I apologize for my intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. I've got to go too. Want to head out together? Sure. Thanks for the drink, Traitus. And Freya? Bye.
What? You made me lose two customers in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that wasn't on me. This is what we call in the business a truth carpet bombing. They were leaving anyway. Man just swooped in, dropped some truth bombs, and left. Are you going to write that in your book? It's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Yeah, we haven't even given her a drink yet. They got their drinks, you got their money. Sounds like a great idea. Maybe next time try some deodorant for you. <laughs> Lemony Snippet. A fortunate tale in a cup. Wait, 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 wait. They left together. I'm gonna ship that. 